diffuse large B-cell lymphoma is an aggressive lymphoma with heterogeneous disease biology. Although much progress has been made since the advent of chemoimmunotherapy, patients with relapse or refractory DLBCL who are ineligible for transplant particularly, or we don't respond to a therapy and transplant, have limited treatment options and a poor prognosis. In the Esoncoli of PIA Exchange discussion, I am joined by the panel of experts in the field of lymphoma. We will discuss the latest advance in the treatment of DLBCL, including novel therapies for disease subtypes. I am Andre Guan, the chairman and director of John Torrey Cancer Center and chief of the division of lymphoma at Hackensack University Medical Center in New Jersey. Joining me today are Dr. Julio Chavez, on my left, assistant member of the lymphoma section of the Department of Malignant Hematology at the Moffitt Cancer Center in Tampa, Florida. Also on my left, Dr. Nathan Fowler, Associate Professor in the Department of Lymphoma and Myeloma, Division of Cancer Medicine at MD Anderson in Houston, Texas. On my first wife, Dr. Kami Maddox, Associate Professor of Medicine, Division of Hematology at Ohio State University in Columbus, Ohio. Dr. Peter Martin, Associate Professor of Medicine and the Chief of Lymphoma Program at Well Cornell Medicine in New York. And finally, Dr. Greg Novakowski, Associate Professor of Medicine and Oncology at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. Thank you, and let's begin. So the field of lymphoma is, um, every year we are very excited to come to ASH and um, my friends and colleagues and see what, what's new, and, and uh, every year we, there, there's more and more new things and new options for our patients. And the field of large cell lymphoma, I think the first way maybe to start is to talk about uh, I know how we manage newly diagnosed large cell lymphoma, evidently. So uh, we all are very aware, now very well aware for the distinction ABC and GC subtype for now since 2000, but there's been a lot of progress and I would like Greg to summarize what matters in uh, subtyping of diffuse large cell lymphoma that has an impact on treatment. Yeah, exactly. Diffuse large cell lymphoma is clinically very heterogeneous. We know that about 60% of the patients are cured with induction frontline therapy. However, about 40% of the patients will relapse. We relapse relatively quickly after therapy, and majority of them, unfortunately, will succumb to the disease. We now understand that this, those differences in the outcome and presentation are actually uh, uh, due to heterogeneity in molecular makeup of diffuse large cell lymphoma. Traditionally, uh, we recognize two major subtypes, the activated B-cell uh, subtype and GCB subtype, or germinal center B-cell-like subtype. And GCB was associated with better prognosis than ABC uh, DLBCL. And ABC DLBCL uh, has been associated with activation of B-cell receptor signaling pathway and worse prognosis. Because of this, there was a lot of interest in developing clinical trials targeting ABC subtype of uh, diffuse large B-cell lymphoma. And unfortunately, most of those attempts failed to show significant improvement in the outcomes of those patients. There are multiple reasons for that, including you know, some uh, issues with the trial designs, uh, some issues in how those patients were identified, and maybe some issues with delaying of the entering the patients, the clinical trials. But the bottom line, uh, so far, we're unable to necessarily improve the outcome of patients with uh, ABC type of diffuse, of diffuse B cell lymphoma, unfortunately. But I think if you look at this, the, the major underlying reason could be also that those subtypes, GCB and ABC, are actually not uniform. Uh, there are some clusters or subtypes, uh, subtypes within, within those. And there are a number of technologies which can identify those. So gene expression profiling and expression analysis is improving. And some people are now describing super GCBs uh, or uh, patients having double hit signature within a GCB uh, subtype. Uh, the, there's increasing recognition that some of the ABC patients are overexpressing MYC and uh, BCL2, which is also an adverse prognostic uh, factor. Uh, but more recently, we also uh, discovered that there are different uh, molecular profile in those patients if you look actually at DNA. So the driving mutations uh, in GCB and ABC appear to be different. We knew it for a long time. Uh, but now if you look at the actual association of those mutations with the outcome within those subtypes and how we can cluster lymphoma uh, is different. Uh, recently, there were two papers published uh, on this, one from Margaret Ship uh, uh, lab uh, by Dr. Chapui and the other one from the Stout lab for, um, by uh, Dr. Schmitz. And uh, both uh, identify those new molecular clusters of diffuse B cell lymphoma. 
So this has been a major development in our understanding of uh, molecular underpinning of our lymphoma. Now, moving this to the clinic could be a challenge. It took us 10 years since the discovery of ABC and GCB before we even started doing the trials using this in the, in the real time. Uh, so those technologies are still not clinically immediately ready. But with the progress in uh, molecular technologies and, um, and mutation analysis, we would expect that those new classifications will have a major impact on the way how we think about diffuse or piece of lymphoma and uh, what therapies could really change the outcome in those molecular clusters.